Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'll cover everything you need to know on how to grow a pomegranate tree from seed. So let's get started. First, make an incision in the top part of the pomegranate and then pry open the top part and pop it open like a lid. It comes right off. Pomegranate is a sectional fruit, which means that the fruit is divided into sections or compartments. The sectional lines run right alongside the pomegranate over the ridges. This is what makes it easy to cut open the pomegranate. Start by cutting the skin of the pomegranate right on the ridge of one of the sections. The sections are easily marked with the lining of white walls. Keep cutting the skin alongside all the sectional walls. After all the cuts are made, gently open the pomegranate and the pomegranate will open easily separated with the white walls of pulp. This is how the pomegranate looks like when it is cut open the right way alongside each section. Simply remove the white pulp in the middle of the pomegranate. Turn over the pomegranate and hit the pomegranate with a spatula over a bowl to dislodge all the juicy seeds. To be honest, and also from my experience, not all seeds will dislodge easily. In this case, simply nudge the seeds to separate from the pomegranate by hand. The seeds are very easy to knock off and separate. I also made a video on an easy way to cut open a pomegranate and how to make sweet pomegranate juice. Check the videos out if you're interested. I'll leave a link to the videos in the description. Once you have extracted the seeds, transfer the seeds to a paper towel. Fold the paper towel containing the seeds and then squish the seeds to get rid of all the juice. After rubbing the seeds to get rid of juice and pulp, the seeds come out neat and clean. This is a seed that you will be planting to start a new pomegranate tree. It is very important to remove all the flesh and pulp around the seed so that the seed does not rot. After cleaning the seed, let the seed dry for at least two days. To grow my seeds, I use 50% coconut coir and 50% potting soil. Coconut coir is very good at retaining moisture so that the seeds don't dry out. Make some space for the seeds with a toothpick and then add the seeds to the growing medium. Cover the seeds at about 1 fourth of an inch deep. I planted two seeds in each pot because not all seeds will grow. Water the seeds after planting and then place it near a window that receives sunlight. After one month, the pomegranate plant emerges and becomes an inch tall. Pomegranate plants are very hardy and easy to grow. As long as you keep watering the plant and keep the soil moist, the plant will continue to grow. After another month, the pomegranate plant is about 3 inches tall. The plants grow slow but will soon continue to grow faster once you plant the pomegranate tree in ground in a sunny area. Once established, the pomegranate tree does not require a lot of water or care. Watering once a week in hot summer and once in a couple of weeks in spring and fall will be sufficient. Pomegranate trees do not require any watering in winter. Pomegranate trees grown from seed will take about 3 years before the tree starts to produce fruit. You can even grow this tree in a large container on a patio of your home as well. Pomegranate trees can live up to 200 years. However, the tree produces less and less fruit as the tree ages. Well, here it is. The pomegranate tree is growing really beautifully. And pomegranate trees is one of the easiest fruit trees to grow from seed. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you grow a pomegranate tree right in your own backyard. And I'll see you in another video.